Since we're starting a brand new unit, you know I'm going to have to have 20 sample questions. This is going to be number one. Remember, you'll have 20 questions that you want to study from before you take test number four. So this is the first one. The directions are going to be very vague. It'll just say factor completely. So anytime it says factor completely, we're going to have to use this chart. Now, so far, we've only learned step one. Luckily, this one only has step one. But when we get through to some of the harder stuff, you're going to have to not only check 6.1, but then check step two and then step three as well. For this one, anytime I tell you to factor completely, your first step is always GCF. Every problem, GCF when the directions say factor completely. GCF, remember, are four steps. A, look for a common binomial, polynomial. B, common variable. C, common number factor. And D, does the polynomial start with a negative sign? So for us, A, do we have any matching parentheses? Yes, that means we have a GCF that's a common polynomial. In our case, binomial. So you're going to take out the GCF. We know that it's going to be 3a plus 7. Just because I have two sets of parentheses, you'll only write it down once. Okay, so this is our GCF. And then the other set of parentheses, when you factor it out, will become our leftovers. To get our leftovers, remember, I told you, take each of these terms. Because this is in set of parentheses, these don't separate terms. This is one whole item, this is your second item. Divide each one by your GCF of 3a plus 7, 3a plus 7, and you can see that if you have a matching parentheses on top with a matching one on the bottom, they cancel out all together. And then the same thing here. So what's left over is the 5a, and then remember, you have to bring the sign over, negative 4. Once you take out your GCF, just double check to make sure you don't have anything else to do. Did we have a common letter in all terms? No, it doesn't look like I have a common letter. Does it look like I have a common number factor? 3, 7, 5, 4. These are all prime numbers. If I broke this down, this is 2. They don't have the same number factor. And our polynomial never started with a negative sign, so we don't have to worry about that. So this is factored completely. Your GCF is in front. Your leftovers must be in a set of parentheses because this times this would make this.